With Christmas now over and January upon us, the festive chill is still being felt throughout many places in the north, with temperatures as low as minus 6 and minus 8 in many places, and Fermanagh has been no exception. It's been one of the frostiest places to be since the cold snap began. We're here at Castle Archdale Marina, where as you can see the lake behind me is completely frozen over. And Enniskillen Weather Station continues to report sub-zero temperatures. It may look picturesque, but for some it's affecting their day-to-day -day routine and even livelihoods. Irvinstown cattle farmer Robert Kinnear is struggling to work through the harsh conditions. The frost in Fermanagh means puts most things to a standstill unless you look after yourself on the farm. Water, grit in the lane, yard, and things like that. It's never easy, right? You have, when the frost comes, you have water trouble. You have trouble with transport, getting the milk lifted. You have the cooling of the milk, all your water. And if you don't keep the things going, you'll be a complete standstill. The parlour in the morning is frozen up. But what we have, have worked out there is put blankets over the parlour and put a ball fire and on the, underneath the blankets. And that keeps everything hunky-dory. It's an outdoor job and you have to do what you think is best. Keep things going, keep things moving, keep the water flowing and hope for the best. If it gets any worse, we'll be on our own, you know, and there'll be nothing happening. We stand still. As simple as that. We no milk moving, nothing, no cattle at the market. Everything will be stopped. If you can't get out, that's it. There hasn't been a heavy snowfall for over a week now. And as you can see, the fields and gardens remain white, which indicates that the temperatures haven't rose high enough for the snow to thaw, which is bad news for those braving the county's roads. While the road service has worked to try and clear the main roads by salting them twice a day, they do admit that they don't have the resources to treat the huge networks of rural roads that crisscross the county. Nine people lost their lives on Fermanagh roads in 2009. Now with the winter chill making them even more treacherous, PSNI road safety inspector John Wilson believes this number could decrease in 2010 if people take the necessary precautions. Whether you're an experienced driver or a newly qualified driver, uh, driving in winter conditions presents all types of dangers uh, and, and conditions for the road surface, vehicle handling and indeed the visibility. So I would say to you simply, you know, the first thing is check your lights, check that they're working, check that they're clean so you can see where you're going. Obviously your tyres are very important, the correct tyre pressure, because that affects the, the handling of the vehicle and how the vehicle controls and steering. Also uh, carry with you de-icer, because those are needed. It's also an offence to drag your vehicle when it's not fully defrosted. And, and this creating a, a peephole to look through, not only is it very dangerous, but it's totally illegal and it can have all these serious consequences. 95% of all road traffic collisions are caused by human error. So the only 5% is caused down to mechanical defect or poor road engineering. So in a nutshell, we're killing ourselves. In Canali and Derry Gonley, the temperature levels are predicted to drop as low as minus 7 degrees towards the end of the week. But for now, the province will have to accept that Jack Frost is set to grip Fermanagh for at least another week.